is Tasha. I am back with another video. Thank you so much for stopping into my channel. I would love it so much if you would hit that subscribe button on your way out of here today. Don't forget to comment in the comment section below and of course thumbs up the video. So today's video is um, different for me. <laughs> Something I've never done before. Um, so I decided why not bring y'all on the journey with me right for the next two days so because you can see from the title from the video what I am doing. It's the very first time I've ever done a detox. So I have, I came here. Let me just first get there. <laughs> I'm here because, um, just to guess, give you a little bit more of um, background on me. I, over the course of, I would say the past year and a half, I've lost about 20 pounds um, by really just increasing my workouts and doing some intermittent fasting. Um, the past, say, two to three months, I've incorporated counting macros, so I was no longer intermittent fasting and counting my macros because I joined a program and had a coach where she was really, you know, helping me um, count my macros, figure that out, actually um, hitting them, finding foods to eat, things like that. So I've been doing that, still been doing my workout. I do work out six days a week with a um, virtual boot camp, shout out to Effect Fitness. Um, but last week I went on vacation. And we all knows what happened when we go on vacation. I still got my workouts in while I was on vacation, but macro counting, yeah, that did not quite happen. So food was good, ate good. Thank God I didn't gain any weight once I got back home. So all that is good. But once I got back home, it was hard for me to to kick the eating. Like I I just I'm ordering pizza, I'm going to Chili's. Um, I am eating, you know, cake and ice cream and I, the ball just keeps rolling and I'm like, girl, pump the brakes because we cannot go back to where we were, you know, a couple years ago. Not that I was severely overweight or anything, but I like where I am now and I ain't trying to go back. Okay. So, and pop my mind, a detox. I've never done a detox, but I think this will be a good way to reset so that I can get back on track. I am no longer on a weight loss journey. I'm on a fat loss journey. So that's why I really am counting my macros. So I'm thinking this may be a good idea. I don't know, but it's only two days. So what the hell? Let's give it a shot. So I am doing the Arden Garden two-day detox. I um, picked this up at my local grocery store at Publix. Um, I think you can also find it at Whole Foods, I believe. Um, I watched a couple of videos, read a couple of reviews. It doesn't seem to be that bad. I am nervous about having to drink all of this. This is a lot. So this is, of course, a gallon. You need to drink two gallons um, over the course of the two days, so one each day. Um, this was $14.99 each, so about 30 bucks for both days, which... Is a lot cheaper than some of the other um, juice detox places around me. I looked into um, Clean Juice, for instance, is near me, and there was another one. And just to do like a one day, just to get the juices for a one day detox was like almost 60 bucks. And I was like, Ugh, I don't know about that because I don't know if, even know if I'm going to like it or if it's going to do anything. So let me just buy this from the grocery store for 30 bucks. <laughs> So here it is. You probably can't see it, but there's little, there's pulp and stuff in here. Um, I'm going to shake it up really well. The directions um, basically say for optimal results, drink 8 to 12 ounces of detox every hour. Drinking additional distilled water every two hours will enhance the cleansing process. Ingredients are distilled water, grapefruit juice, orange juice, and lemon juice is what's in here. Um, so... I have my cup that I'm going to be using. For me, it is mine over matter. And even when I'm drinking my water every day, drinking it out of a clear cup really helps me. Again, it's a mental thing of actually seeing it, being able to decrease in the cup and then refilling it. I don't know, does something for me. So I'm going to be using this. This is actually um, 16 ounces. So I'm not going to measure. I'm just going to, you know, fill this up as close as I can every time I need to drink and just kind of chug it away. So not going to eat anything else for the next two days. I figured today was a good day to start. Today is July 5th and I'm actually off of work today in honor of the 4th since it was on a Sunday. So I figured I can start today. I do work from home. So even while I'm working tomorrow, if I do have to go to the bathroom to do number one, number two, I don't know what's going to happen. <laughs> 
I'll be home, so no big deal for me there because I did see that on some of the reviews of, you know, do it on um, a day off or when you can be at home, so no biggie for me there. I'm going to go ahead and pour it up, pour it up, watch it all fall out. No, hopefully not. I'm going to go ahead and pour my first cup on camera with you guys so you can get the my immediate reaction of tasting this stuff for the very first time because again i've never done this before never had it um, i'm sure by the end of the day i'm gonna be completely over the taste of it even if it is tolerable and hopefully you know i will survive <laughs> in the next two days I'm sure it's not going to be bad right now because I just got done with my workout and I'm super thirsty, so I'll be able to chug this down. I'm actually going to try to keep it at room temperature as much as I can. Of course, it says keep it refrigerated. I prefer to drink um, water at room temperature, so I think this will be easier to drink at room temperature, but I don't know. But let's give it a shot. Cheers. horrible it's very bitter like it it tastes like a watered down grapefruit juice <laughs> is what I can tell you this tastes like so if you don't like grapefruit I definitely would not recommend I know it has orange juice and lemon juice I don't really taste any orange juice I really mostly taste the grapefruit and the lemon so if you don't like those you might not want to, unless you're just going to hold your nose and chug it every hour that you have to drink it. But I'm going to go ahead, give this a shot, go ahead and shower, lounge throughout the day. Um, I may come back halfway through the day and let you guys know how it's going, or I may just come back at the end of the day um, to tell you how day one went. Um, I did go ahead and weigh myself, so I'll put that over here somewhere again i'm not looking to necessarily lose weight but i know some people may be watching this may be looking to see what the weight loss was like so i will actually put that over here so that you guys can see what the starting weight is and then on the morning of day three i'll go ahead and weigh myself again so that you guys can see if i had any weight loss i do wear waist beads so i'm going to use that to track um the inches i guess shall i say that may come off so i'm gonna show you guys excuse my bathroom so these are my waist beads you can see where they're currently sitting with the blue one sitting the highest right here right now yes this is after having two kids this is what it looks like <laughs> so um, maybe we'll see after day three where they are all sitting because I really don't want to measure myself because um, I don't even know if I'm getting the same measurement every time but you guys see how it's sitting. So we'll see come day three where they are. All right, that's it. So I'll check back in with you guys, if not halfway through the day, tonight after I am done with gala number one. Wish me luck. Y'all, <laughs> I look extremely busted. I just got done with my workout, 5.30 first one back since vacation it was a struggle but that's not what we here for yeah last night I didn't come back because you know what had happened was you know anytime anybody say that some ish you know didn't go as planned so this is still the first jug <laughs> this is still the first jug y'all mmm so yesterday by around two, three o'clock, I could not take it anymore. If I took one more sip of this stuff, I was going to throw it all up. I Sorry if that's TMI. I was at the point where if I was smelling this stuff, <laughs> it was making me nauseous because I was just drinking so much of it. Oh my God. And I was feeling lightheaded. I was so hungry. Like my stomach was growling no matter how much I was drinking, how much water I was drinking to try to make myself feel satisfied. I was hungry. I don't know if it was because I did a really heavy workout that morning. So I probably shouldn't have started this yesterday. I don't know what it was, but y'all, I was starving. 
So I did eat. I had to eat or I was going to be a B-I-T-C-H, okay? <laughs> so I did end up eating. Um, I had a crab boil, which, I mean, it's not horrible because I actually did not. I ended up eating like half of one piece of corn, um, two potatoes, my steamed shrimp, and crab legs. So that was all that I did end up having. And then I had um, two kind bars, the, the mini ones. So it wasn't the regular size. It was just the mini ones and two of those and a piece of gum. Cause I couldn't take it anymore <laughs> but that was all that I had um so I did hop on the scale this morning sorry I did not videotape it but when I got on this morning um yesterday I was 143.4 and this morning when I weighed myself I was 142.8 so I did experience a you know a few ounces off which hey here neither here nor there I appreciate any time the scale goes down um but I am going to try to drink the rest of this this morning and we'll see how it goes with um opening the the second bottle um the second jug if i can't get through it again i'm gonna try to at least get through this this morning and then maybe again if i have to have one meal just to hold me over then that's what i'll have to do because again i'm not necessarily using this to jump start a a weight loss um, I'm really just trying to get myself back on track so that I can get back into counting my macros like I'm supposed to and get back into my fat loss. So, um, still wanted to come back. I know it wasn't <laughs> probably what you guys were expecting, but this is life. Sometimes what you have planned in your head doesn't really work out in reality. So, I'm going to keep coming back <laughs> until we get done. Um, probably not going to be two days because <laughs> today would have been the second day that I was supposed to finish the second jug. But again, this is real life. This is what happens. Ish happens sometimes. Oh, well. Anyway, so I'll come back uh, maybe tonight or in the morning. Let you guys know where I'm at. <laughs> hey, y'all. Uh, another day. Another post-workout video to end off this fail of a detox. Yay. <laughs> real quick. Um, This is still the first jug. <laughs> I obviously did not finish. I was almost finished and I had all plans to finish. But as the day went on yesterday, I did eat one meal yesterday. As the day went on yesterday, I noticed bumps starting to appear on my face. That's just my dry skin. <laughs> I noticed my face starting to break out and I said, no ma'am, no sir. <laughs> no ma'am no sir <laughs> i have worked on my skin since like the beginning of the year on getting you know everything all cleared up i haven't had breakouts so i can only contribute it to this in the high acidity from the grapefruit juice and the lemon juice that is both in and the orange juice um that are all in here as to why my skin is now acting a fool so when I saw that, call me vain, whatever you want to call me. But I said, eh, 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 no, 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 no. If it's doing this, and I'm not even completely finished the first jug, if I go into the second jug, my face is going to have a shit fit. And it's probably going to take me weeks to then try to recover from the damage that this is doing. And because, again, I'm not doing it to lose a ton of weight, it ain't worth it for me. I'm not sacrificing my skin for a few pounds. Not doing it. So what I wanted it to do, it did. It basically kind of jump-started um, just me getting back on track. I really feel a lot less bloated than I did a couple days ago from vacation. Um, I've been able to, you know, still get in my workouts and do everything like I do 5.30 in the morning every single morning. Um, so it hadn't affected any of that. As far as the uh, any other effects from the juice, it just had me going to the bathroom. And I mean, I don't know if it's a mixture of it's really related to the juice um, or also the water because I'm, you're drinking so much water while you're doing this at the same time. So I didn't find that if I was drinking straight water, I didn't find that I was going to the bathroom anymore drinking the detox if that makes sense <laughs> so i just i didn't feel like it was a, an obscene amount because if i was just drinking water like i normally do i would be going to the bathroom the same amount of time as well so i don't know um i did weigh myself this morning i'll put it right over here 
So over the past two days, y'all know I did not follow this the way I was supposed to, but over the last few days, I did lose a pound and a half um, while drinking this and still eating the one meal on um, both days. So, I mean, that is good enough for me to kind of kickstart my butt back into gear. So for me, although I didn't finish it and it's kind of a fail because of what I wanted this to do for me is not necessarily a fail for me. And I really hope this video helps somebody else in terms of um, being realistic because I did watch a lot of videos, not saying that anybody else is lying, of course, but I watched some other videos and, you know, people really didn't struggle per se through this. And um, yeah, I just that did not have that great of an experience with this. So now I'm like, can I take the second jug back to the grocery store? Can you return stuff to the grocery store? I've never done it before. I may give it a shot, though, because I don't want the $15 to go to waste because um, I'm not drinking the other jug. Um, I could have pushed through if I wasn't starting to see these breakouts on my face. I probably would have at least pushed through um, maybe the next two days finishing that. But again, I'm not sacrificing breakouts for um, literally probably a couple pounds. So... No, thank you. I'll go ahead and um, show you guys where my waist beads fall before I get out of here so that you can see um, the difference that I've had as far as inches. But other than that, if y'all have any questions about anything that I did not answer in this video, please chat with me in the comments below. If not, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.